air compressor hose reel. Uh, so this was a, another Go Figure Harbor Freight purchase. Um, I think it was seventeen dollars. Um, I did not have a coupon for this. They always have coupons for the uh, retractable ones, which look really nice, and that, that's what I was gonna buy. But I'm pretty thrifty, so I did not. I was looking at that one and at this one. And yes, you have to roll it up yourself. Um, do it yourself first, so that is not a problem for me. Um, that is the basic overview of it. This is not how it comes from the store. Uh, this over here is the box. I still have the box. That's pretty amazing. That is what it's supposed to look like. I foresaw with my wizard brain that the hose would get caught in those yellow dealies um, if it didn't ride on there correctly. So I decided to custom build this piece. I had to take it all apart. Um, Pinterest is amazing. It teaches you things like how to make circles with a table saw out of wood. So that's what I did. I made round circles out of wood, painted them black, um, made some holes on there with a drill I got. And you guessed it, Harbor Freight. I could have used my regular drill. Actually, I did use my regular drill. But yeah, I drilled the holes, put in some fasteners. I got the local store. And now, the hose, when it's going around, will not get caught in those yellow stabby things. Uh, on the box here, it says 100 feet of steel, 100 foot steel air hose reel. The air hose reel is steel. The cable is not. Obviously it's uh, probably PVC or something. Um, I even got the right color uh, hose for that. That obviously on the box that's pictured not 100 foot. That's probably more like 50. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, probably more like 25 foot of hose. Um, it does fit 100 foot. Because I bought that hose a long time ago, and I wanted as much uh, distance as I could get out of the hose because I didn't know how far away I would be working, and in my limited budget, I didn't want to be stuck having to buy more hoses and having more air leaks. Um, with my original compressor that I got at Harbor Freight that I was not satisfied with, it's the one that's always on sale, 125 PSI, 21 gallon, I think. Not satisfied with that. I sold it and used it to buy that bad boy. That is fantastic. The one I had from Harbor Freight was not fantastic. Uh, so that hose I bought a long time ago for the other compressor. You know, distance, just in case. Um, and so this reel does not come with a hose. So you will have to add the extra expense to put on a hose. But if you went the same route I went... And got a hose and wanted to do it separately, um, just in case, you know, to upgrade whatever you're doing. This this is a good option if you have a hose that is out of control, um, th which is exactly the reason why I bought this reel. My hose, um, these hoses don't reel up very nicely. They're very angry when you try to put them away, and they get out of control and naughty and gross. Uh, this one, I can pull it out and go clear across the garage. Um, I usually make a bend there because I got a bunch of crap in that direction. Um, and then, you know, I just pile it up on that other end and turn this crank. Boop, boop, boop. And it's good. It all just goes right back on there, nice and easy. Uh, it doesn't get caught because I made that custom modification. Uh, again, with the French cleat mount, I made one specially for this. Uh, pfft, things for that. If you're gonna, if you're in a French cleat, and I have a a total bonnier for it. That's French for um, a a willed spirit in that direction. Um, I measured the width of this this bracket that comes with the hose reel, and I tried to double it, and then um, that width I tried to double it up and down. Um, I didn't. Because if I did, it would hit that other rail, and I didn't want that. Um, it has to lift and come off 
and go on and go down. I didn't want it touching down there. Uh, plus I have extra room to hang other mounts beneath it, so that's good. Um, it is sturdy. It doesn't it doesn't fall off like my beer can crusher did in my first video. Um, if you do have issues with stuff falling off, you can always get C clamps from the Harbor Freight. Boop boop, and you know, clamp these down if there's something you cannot risk having falling off your wall. Um, I'm probably gonna do that, especially for these expensive jacks. Um, they're not really expensive, but you know, for jacks, but they are a cost and I can't have them breaking. Um, they're very valuable tools and I don't need them to break on me or have their integrity questioned. So I might get C-clamps and hold those down at Harbor Freight. They're cheap so I can outfit all of this stuff to make sure they stay down. Um, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to review this hose reel. Okay, so I uh, showed you the box. I showed you what it's supposed to be able to do. It does what it says it's supposed to do. It does not say that it won't coil up your, ho your hose. That's why I made those uh, custom wood circles to go on there and fasten those on. Um, to do that, I had to take this um, handle and unscrew it. It screws on to the center axle um, through there. You can't see it because the hose is all on there. I don't really want to pull it off. Um, this is a, a swivel joint. It's a banjo swivel joint so the air goes in there and there's a little cavity and the air can go inside to the shaft and inside there's another screw-in connection where your hose gets screwed into. Um, so this can swivel as it turns but it still always delivers um, air to the inside other end of the hose. <clears throat> um, not too happy with the setup I have right now. It's what I could afford for the moment. Uh, some things I'm considering here. So we're I'm in Georgia, and the air is very humid. Um, so I always get water buildup in my tank. I saw that Harbor Freight also has a automatic drain for compressors. Um, basically measures the differential pressure from up here, which is just air, to down there on the drain down there which is air pressure plus water height pressure and if there is a significant enough difference it will open a poppet valve that will use the air pressure to blow down the bottom and the water will come out uh, obviously see I have some water build up and it makes rust and that's an issue with 150 pounds per square inch of pressure if your tank rusts out um, and obviously you can't look in there to check it out. Um, one of these welds there or down the side could fail and it'll just and blow up your whole garage and you, nobody wants that. Um, so that's why I'm thinking about doing that, especially down here. It's really wet and humid. Uh, it's like swimming through the air. So I have this, um, they call it a filter I call it a moisture separator what it really does is separate moisture there's a like a aquarium stone in here and when the air goes through it the water has to take a uh, treacherous path and the water can't do it so it separates and touches the stones and it drips down to the bottom and then there's a little drain nipple right there and then psh, water comes out so then your water doesn't get shot down the tube and into your air turbine, your tiny little turbine for your tools, which destroys them. Um, it's called water impingement, and you might as well be shooting bullets at the inside of your air tools. It's not good. Uh, yeah, so I'm not happy about this setup right now. I'm going to make another French cleat mounted um, air handling system that goes on the wall, probably in that region. Um, it's going to take that filter and put it over there, and I'm probably going to have the Curly Q um, hose that goes to it, because as the water slings around in the cyclone, it'll drop out water and shoot the slugs of water into my filtration system, and not my tools, before it gets to my air hose. So I won't have any liquid fallout there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with that. All in all, this is a fantastic idea. 
Um, again, obviously I'm going to upgrade it, but I would recommend this if you are a do-it-yourselfer and don't mind making wood circles on your table saw. Uh, it was a bit of a job, kind of hard to get it back in, but it wasn't too difficult. Um, it was a price difference of $17 for this one, vice um, 60 with a coupon dollars for the awesome self-retractable one with a hose that's on it. So, do again, do your research. I already had a hose, so it, this was more cost-effective for me because I could, I had the capability of making it as good as, you know, the more expensive model. Obviously, it doesn't self-retract. I don't really care. Um... So that's why I went with this one. Um, I had a lot more money that could go the distance at Harbor Freight to get more more tools that I did need. Uh, 